if only Highlanders Football Club were as consistent on the pitch as are their supporters on the terraces, then no doubt who would rule the roost. The black and white shirted Bulao side, buoyed by their vociferous fans, were held to their third Baba Fields draw, a fourth stalemate of the current season when a well organized Simbabura side demonstrated some disciplined defending to come out with a well deserved point from Baba Fields. However, they certainly didn't deserve more. As usual, at Baba Fields, Highlanders began the match at a blistering pace, passing the ball around and making positive progress into the Zimbabwe box, it looked like come end of the 90, the visitors would be torn to shreds. Makinon Mushore found the side netting with perhaps Highlanders' best move of the match. A few moments after that, Boso were back at it, this time El Shama Farasi turning on the magic in midfield to exchange passes with Godfrey Makaruse, whose shot at goal was well served by Simba Chinani in goals for Zimbabwe. In what must be the visitors' best chance of the match, a long ball from Phineas Sachigulupate picked up Ishmael Nyani, who did well on his first touch, only to lose composure and rush his shooting as Mbogeni closed in. Highlanders thought they deserved a penalty when a free kick from the left caused commotion in the box, eventually referee Basui blowing for handball by Peter Mudua. Whilst Basui might have gotten it right with that call, perhaps the opposite is true after a brilliant marking on Mshore pass set Makaruse through who was bundled off the ball by keeper Chinani, referee Basui waving play on where perhaps a free kick for a foul was legitimate. The Zimbabwe planner to absorb all thrown at them was successfully completed when Andrew Mbeva's cross was cleared onto Ashford Faira, who laid a sitter for Melika Yanguwe's stinger to be blocked. Its venom neutralized before trickling into Chinani's arms. Early in the second half, Melika decided to go spectacular, ballooning his shot over the bar. Maybe a basic shot at goal would have yielded better results. With Highlanders sweating to get the opener, perhaps they needed one of Zimbabwe's players to do them a favor, and it almost came after Albert Manenji miscued his clearance, but to his good fortune, it only landed on the outside roof of the Nets. Highlanders thought they had finally broken the deadlock after Makinon Mushore had broken clear on the right, releasing an inch perfect cross to Linot Chikua, whose header was correctly ruled offside. With Apostle in desperate need of that decisive goaler, not even a free kick on the edge of the box would bring relief, but Andrew Mbeva blew what was certainly a match winner after directing his header narrowly wide of the right-hand post. It was done. Neil Allstein met then, Highlanders now down to second place on the log, whilst Zimbabwe climbed up by one place to position 12 from a share of the spoils of a match where Highlanders keeper Ariel Sibanda never made a save, whilst the defensive shape and discipline of the Zimbabwe players to keep to the game plan certainly won at the hard end point. For the Premier Soccer League at Popperfield Stadium in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimbra.